Are you ready? It's sing-along time. My name is Duan, and I'm so excited to see you as we talk about being unafraid. Do you remember why you don't have to be afraid? Yes, because God is always with us. Yes! And our big idea today is God is with me. God is with us. God is with you. So you can say, God is with me. So when you're riding in a car, you can say, God is with me. Um, when you're sleeping at night, you can say, God is with me. When you are playing on the playground, tag, you're it. You can say, God is with me. Hmm. Sometimes when bad things happen, you can say, and you can know that God is with me. And guess what? In our story today, we're gonna talk about David and God reminds him that he is with him. Even when all the people around him are very afraid. Let's go to Natalie and hear the story. Story time. Oh, hey, my friends. It's great to see you. Today, have I got a story for you. It is from the Tiny Truths Illustrated Bible. And it is about a boy named David and a giant named Goliath. As God was looking for a new king, he saw David, Hello. a shepherd who loved him with his whole heart. David didn't have an important job and he wasn't a prince. He wasn't even big or strong. 
but he was a good shepherd. And sometimes a good shepherd makes a good king. One day, David was out in the fields looking after his sheep. Bah. God told Samuel to visit David's family. He was going to show Samuel who the new king would be. One by one, David's father, Jesse, brought his sons to Samuel. They were all big and strong. Who would God choose? But one by one, Samuel said, hmm, no, not him. Is there anyone else? He asked. Well, there is David, said Jesse, but he's the youngest and the smallest. Bring him to me, said Samuel. So David was brought in from the fields. He is the one, God told Samuel. God had chosen a shepherd boy to become the next king, a king who would serve his people and serve God. Not long after that, a tribe called the Philistines wanted to fight God's people. They had a big and scary army, and one of their men was especially big and scary. His name was Goliath. He looked like a giant, and he liked fighting. Goliath was taunting God's family, and he was taunting God. Goliath wanted a fight, but no one wanted to fight him. He was far too big. But David wasn't scared. In fact, he was angry that Goliath was making fun of God. Oh, fight him, he said. When I'm out in the fields with my sheep, bears and lions come to attack us. And with God's help, I fight them off. If God has protected me from the claws of lions and bears, he will protect me from this giant. David took five little stones. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And his sling and walked toward Goliath. Goliath looked at him and laughed. I think like this. <laughs> but Goliath didn't know David's God. You have your sword and your spear, said David. But I have God to help me. David took just one stone and flung it at Goliath. The stone hit him right in the forehead and he fell to the ground. The fight was over. That day, God's people defeated the Philistine army because God was with them. Hey, and you know what? God's with you too. And I think that's pretty cool. And I think that the God that we love and we serve is pretty amazing. Well, it was good to be with you and I'll see you next time. Have fun as you go to do this activity. Activity time! Hey, friends! Hi, friends! That was such a cool story, wasn't it? Yeah, I loved it. I know, even though Goliath was really, really tall, he was like, that tall, David wasn't afraid. No, and even though he was really, really mean, David wasn't scared because God was with him. Absolutely. Now friends, we have a super fun game that we'd love to play with you. So we're gonna think of something that we're afraid of and each time we're gonna jump up from our seats and shout, God is with me. All right, let's see crisscross applesauce. All right, is there anything that makes you a little bit afraid? Well, Maybe it's, the, maybe it's the dark. I know I'm afraid of the dark. Oh yeah, I don't like the dark at all. All right, let's jump up and shout, God is with me on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. God, God is, is with me. me. Wow, I feel so much better already. Yeah, me too. Let's sit down again. All right, is there anything else? Well, okay, maybe you like them, maybe you don't, but I am terribly afraid of spiders. Yeah, me too. When they're small, they're gross, and when they get bigger, they're, they're scary. They're scarier, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's jump up the show. God is with me on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. God is with me. That was amazing. Friends, you are doing such an awesome job.
Let's do that again. Ugh. All right, is there one more thing that makes you scared? Well, when I was younger, I used to be afraid of going on the bus alone because there were so many people. Yeah, it always makes me nervous. All right, let's jump up and shout. God is with me on the count of three. One more time. One, two, three. God is with me! All right, friends, let's sit down. I have a fun activity for you. So, can you think of something that you're afraid of? Tell someone beside you. We'll give you a few seconds. Could you think of something? All right, on the count of three, we are going to get up together and shout, God is with me. Are you ready? One, One two, two, three. God is with me. Oh, wow. Thanks for helping me remember that God is always with me. Yeah. All right, let's head over to Kiever's time. Bye. Kiever's. Are you ready to learn the key verse with me? Okay, it goes like this. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Psalm 118, verse 6. Okay, we're going to have a lot of fun with the key verse today. We are going to use a drum to tap the rhythm while we say the words. Okay, so do you have a play drum? If not, maybe a box or a pot. If not, it's okay. You can use your hands. We'll tap it like this. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Did you get it? Great. And guess what? I have a special drum today. This drum is called a djembe. And djembe is from West Africa. And the word djembe is from a saying that in English means everyone gathered together in peace. That's the purpose of this drum. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap the drum, tap the rhythm to the drum while we say the key verse, okay? Are you ready? All right, let's go. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Psalm 118, verse six. Did you get it? That's great. Let's do it again. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Psalm 118, verse six. <laughs> you guys did awesome. Let's do it again, but this time, let's go a little bit faster. Ready? The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. Psalm 118, verse six. Great job. This is an awesome verse for us to remember forever. The Lord is with us and we don't have to be afraid. Prayer time. It's almost time to say goodbye. But before we do, may I pray with you? Today, let's sit crisscross applesauce. Are you comfy? Okay, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for being with us. And help us to remember, especially when we're afraid, that you are always with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. It was great praying with you today, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye. Yes, Jesus gives us peace. Yes, Jesus gives us peace. Yes, Jesus gives us peace. Yes, he does.